what is going on everyone welcome back to this live and we have some interesting news coming out especially from india uh, when it comes to cryptocurrency and blockchain and bitcoin regulations here in india and it looks like the indian officials are going to be traveling to some of the countries which have already regulated uh, this space namely japan uh, uk and switzerland so these are the three countries which have regulated cryptocurrencies and blockchain space and it looks like the indians are uh, indian officials want to learn from them as to how what exactly have they done and so possibly the regulations are coming up here in india as well because that's really important because if you are watching it from india you know the cryptocurrency exchanges do not have the bank support which is causing a lot of issues a lot of problems for every investors and traders in india and of course the th things don't look as good as they should and of course it is also creating a lot of situations wherein uh, people are forced to do transactions off the bank which is kind of a risky thing not only for them individually but also for the country uh, in terms of not getting any revenue from people's trading so this is one news we'll be talking about today uh, and this is by sebi basically the the security and exchange board of india and the other news that we also want to talk about is andreas antonopoulos um, his comment on india going ahead and talking about issuing their own cryptocurrency which doesn't look like a good idea and another thing is that a debate you know i mean there have been a lot of people into cryptocurrency space which have gone ahead and said that they are satoshi nakamoto and but nobody have still been able to prove that they are satoshi nakamoto and i don't think the real satoshi nakamoto will ever come out to say that he is satoshi nakamoto but it looks like there's another guy who looks like richard hard claims that he has co-founded bitcoin <laughs> isn't it very interesting so these are the things that we're going to talk about today but i want to first know whether i am live if you can hear me properly or am i audible and how is everyone doing so this is the first day of the week this is what this is monday right and uh, okay let me just see if okay there are nine people watching amazing i think i'll need to share this in the telegram group hi deepak mohammed a very positive move yes i saw your gif uh, hopefully they will make let me just quickly share this in the telegram group so that more people can join us i know the youtube does not send out the notification guys and this is going to be a a usual hangout where i'm going to be sharing some information with you at the same time uh, i would love if you share your thoughts on what's going on in the space uh, what's happening with you um, you're bullish bearish or you're just hanging on and the market sentiments and things like that so let me just quickly share this in the channel we have the telegram group and the channel okay where is it all right so done in the channel in the telegram group and the channel okay perfect let me just open up the chat here 11 people watching i told you so this is what happens when you share it on the telegram group there are more people joining is obviously they have no clue that the live is on and also we're going to talk about the market the market looks pretty good we have a bitcoin price uh pretty stable right now for over a couple of days it's not as stable uh, as long it's not been as long as we would like it to be it's only been a couple of days but it's good to see that bitcoin is staying above 7000 dollar mark uh, which is amazing to see so let's have a look at this chart so this is what happened right 7000 over here it dropped down to 6800 and then it's been from okay from saturday so saturday sunday and today is monday so it's been 3 days that bitcoin has maintained that 7200 figure 
so a lot of people are thinking is it gonna be staying here or is it gonna go off from here is this the next bull run it's too early to say anything to be honest it is too early to say anything but it's good to see some green 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 in the market uh, uh, it's quite positive but it's too early to say where the market is heading so that's in terms of the market but let's talk about the regulators we have more people joined in right now uh, let me just quickly say hi to everyone muhammad what's up uh, Sami, hi Sami, good to see you. Uh, hi Deepak, a uh, clear voice, thank you so much, Mohammed. Uh, hi Dinaka, what's up, brother? How have you been? I hope, I hope BTC will reach all time high this year, slow and steady will win the race. Um, let's see, because there are some predictions which says that $25,000. Hi Gora, what's up? What are your thoughts on Antonopoulos telling India central cryptocurrency? Exactly, I think Andreas Antonopoulos is somebody who really understands technology in depth. Not only that, he also understands the banking system. Not only that, he also understands how the most of the government functions. So I think uh, uh, I think uh, he's, uh, he's 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 his warning are pretty much makes a lot of sense. Hi Sanjeet, how are you? You are on time, buddy. Andy Raman, I saw I won't take down. Is it that you, Andy Raman? Andy Raman is all over the place, my friend. And that's that's a very good thing, you know. You should always uh, watch as much content as possible. Not just this, but as many people as you like. Uh, we, we think are adding value to the space, the crypto space. And I think there are so amazing, so many amazing people into the space who really add a lot of value, bring a lot of value to cryptocurrency space. Uh, really talk about adoption really talk about uh, how one should uh, uh, what are the things what are the things one should keep learning into cryptocurrency space so and it's very good to have different perspective from different people so i definitely uh, recommend to andrea's got it wrong and he is active who is there on whatsapp uh, okay i'm getting a call but i can't take this call right now some misleading article on Coindesk. Yeah, and he is active on a. That's nice. Yes, see Coin Crunch article. Okay, let let's open the Coin Crunch article, guys. Let's see if there is something special there. I think Coin Crunch has been one of those uh, sites which really puts out some good content. So let's see what they have to say. Uh, Sebi is okay. So they have mentioned one of these, which which we are already talking about, which is Sebi is uh, doing study tours of Japan, UK, Switzerland to learn about cryptocurrencies and ICO. This was yesterday, right? And so, what are the other news? Let's talk about this. Quick repack before. Uh, also, all right. So the another thing is also that. Uh, quick recap so there is a hearing supreme court hearing on 11th of september about what's going to be happening uh, related to all the bans right now uh, no i don't think this is the same article let's see uh, which one are you referring to andy if you could share a link that will be great uh, but yes uh, the entrias and plus have made a statement that uh, this is not good okay uh, india's cryptocurrency dangerous if backed by government identity system i don't know i mean because this was the article uh, that these guys were referring to which was india iced state digital currency to cut 90 million bank note so what my understanding about this article and about this news is that instead of printing notes like in different colorful notes like green blue pink yellow uh, what they are trying to do is they are trying to make it a digital electronic currency uh, that's what they mentioned i don't think uh, so with while the rbi did not reveal whether the potential central bank digital currency which is yeah central bank digital currency reduce its hefty annual bill for minting physical cash well maybe it's a good idea because uh, the only thing that you're doing uh, but again i don't think that's going to work out at, at this point in time in india because i think there are still uh, about 50 percent of people who still use 
cash and uh, for the small transactions like if you're buying vegetables if you're buying uh, they still don't use paytm i mean people still use uh, prefer uh, cash so i don't think if this is going to be uh, useful at this point in time so complete you can't get rid of the physical notes completely and um, even if they are issuing a currency a cryptocurrency or the digital currency that is there's nothing that's not any different from the fiat currency that we already have because fiat currency is also centrally issued and the digital currency will also be centrally issued so don't see any difference uh, as to how they will be able to control the inflation and all those stuff and it will still keep losing its value you know so uh, i i don't see much of a difference and if you know, that that's what my thought is uh, i don't see how they are going to link it to the pan cards and things like that uh, and that is what he was speaking on so the reserve bank of india is mulling a central bank digital currency as a means to cut the countries who spend on minting physicals so that's all they said uh, this was a tweet I don't know. I don't know where is this Aadhaar system coming from. I have no clue about that, guys. Let me know if you have read the article. Let me know where is that coming out from. But uh, let's talk about this news. So, what do you think about this? Because this is a beautiful move. Uh, until now, we were uh, skeptical on what India is going to be doing. Uh, not sure what they are going to doing. But now, now for those of you who might not know, in India there are two regulatory bodies, right? So when it comes to uh, regulating bitcoin and cryptocurrencies there are two bodies which are looking at so one on the one side it's cb uh, security and exchange board of india right is that right and the other on the other hand is rbi so rbi have said that this is not the currency this is a commodity so sebi should be regulating it and sebi says that this is not a commodity this is this is this is like a currency so rbi should be regulating it so both these uh, regulatory bodies are trying their best to understand and what draw regulations around it so right now what has happened is uh, the indian officials are this is about 3 hours ago guys indian officials are visiting japan which has already regulated bitcoin they made it legal payment i mean even the smallest vendor in japan you will see that they are accepting bitcoin and cryptocurrencies and so is in the uk and so is in the switzerland um not in uk i would say uk is still trying to figure out i don't know what is the point visiting uk uh but switzerland yes they have figured out things i think they should also de definitely be visiting malta if possible because malta has uh, malta seems to know everything very clearly more than any other country but i think it's good that they are going to be learning from all these countries regulators and understanding taking their point of view as to how they are treating cryptocurrency exchanges how they are treating icos how they are treating the tokens and uh, probably they will come up with similar uh, uh, guidelines here in india as well because i think india does need this kind of regulation as soon as quickly as possible because india is number 2 right now when it comes to numbers and uh, the numbers when i talk about the numbers is so important because if you have higher the population uh, because cryptocurrencies are about community building so let's say you know this is what we talk about right in the telegram group that this this ico has got 20000 people 30000 people 50000 people imagine how many people have india got right so if if the regulations really come in india a lot of these international players are definitely eyeing on it because uh, all of a sudden you have a huge number of users here in india and of course china doesn't look positive as yet so maybe it is it is it is an opportunity for india to make the best out of it just like malta is trying to do so that's the way i look at it and so there are three authorities that they're going to be looking at so sebi is organized study tours of fasa which is from japan financial services agency which is from japan and uh, they're going to be talking to them and the financial conduct authority uk fca i don't know if fca has done anything uh, with the cryptocurrency and bitcoin and blockchain uh, swiss financial market sub supervisory which is from uh, switzerland yes they are extremely positive so i think uh, these are the three regulatory bodies that they are going to meet 
discuss and understand now again i do not know what is the source of this news this is on news.bitcoin.com but where have they taken the news from i have no clue about that at the same time rbi is also preparing something or the other and uh, we'll talk about that but let me just take some of the chats here Most of the Telegram channel people are talking about BitConnect. Is it from India now a day before? Oh yes, BitConnect was born in India. We we found out that Bitcoin BitConnect was made in India. Uh, and to be honest, nothing to be proud of. Uh, yeah, Andreas world president. <laughs> Kunal says Andreas is for the world president. Did I miss any update? Not at all. Uh, would be great and a shave. Uh, All international news got the news wrong. Probably, yeah, I mean, they, they, do, they do print out like half of the information most of the time. They are not very clear. Uh, Andy Ramesh should start. Yes, I think so. Andy Andy is, uh, is an exciting person. I mean, he is, uh, he is, I haven't seen anyone as excited about this whole space as Andy, to be very honest with you. Uh, I think he's got more excitement, 10 times more than what I have. So yes, I think it'll be worth it. It would definitely be uh, amazing to see him contributing to the space and talking on these. <laughs> uh, like like this, is he, he, I can't make this show is the best. <laughs> Thank you so much, Andy. But yes, uh, yeah, I think, yeah. So uh, Robert Richards says most of the Telegram channel. Guys, this was very shocking to me also. I mean, BitConnect was one of the biggest biggest ponzi scheme ever created in the cryptocurrency space over the last uh, decade and um, and you know it was the biggest and it is not something that we can be proud of but bitconnect was born in india and it really went viral like it went all over the globe uh, so what what can we say <laughs> this is this is ridiculous though he improved the quality a lot from a good old days Thank you. Thank you so much, Andy. Uh, yeah, I mean, when I started this channel, I, I, I just wanted to share. I just wanted to talk to someone about cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin and blockchain. And that's how I started randomly. And then later on, I thought, OK, I think we can we can I can do a little better. So that's where it stays. I am maybe in the future. Maybe I'll be adding a good camera. And uh, but I need a lot of support from you all. I need this channel to grow a little bit more. Uh, uh, so that's 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 one of the plans so let's see but let's talk about uh think positive how are you <laughs> you look cool today bhai i look cool every day what are you saying uh thank you so much for the compliment though 20 people watching hit the like guys thank you so much for joining me today on this monday evening 9 52 it's 10 o'clock where are you from let me know in the chat box if possible holo chain price went off 10 to 21 i think that's the reason most of the youtube channels are covering holo chain because holo chain <laughs> have gone up in the price isn't it so uh, is this the holo chain Okay, I'm referring to live coin watch right now. Let me go back to coin market because that's a new one. So sometimes you don't understand what's going on there. Holo hot 42% up 42% up in the last 24 hours. You are genuine and hardworking. Thank you so much. I really needed this uh, this this compliment. I think positive. So, thank you so much. This this really keeps. <laughs> the Hyderabadi says tomorrow. <laughs> what? 
Is there a strike from RBI tomorrow? Uh, oh my God, what does that mean? Are the, are the banks functional or are the banks not going to be working at all? Uh, I've seen many YouTubers, you are genuine and hardworking. Thank you so much. Think positive. I've seen many, many are excited when it is up and down, when crypto is down, but only she will take. Uh, yeah, for me, for me, uh, for me, it's it's about the whole cryptocurrency space is exciting. So, uh, you know, the price for me doesn't matter because I'm really looking at the long term. I'm, I'm really excited about what cryptocurrencies and blockchain is going to be bringing in the future because this is a long term game, guys. This is all about patient. This is not an overnight get rich quick scheme or, or overnight thing. This is this is a long term. You need to think like an entrepreneur, like when when a Reliance, when a Tata, when a, these companies, when Steve Jobs thinks, they really think long term. If Steve Jobs will think for two years and three years, he would have shut off the company. But he had a long term vision. And I think this is a long term vision is so important because I believe everybody who is involved in the cryptocurrency space right now, like for example, everyone who is watching this live right now, the fact that you are spending your time here with me is, is uh, it, it goes to show that you are serious about the whole space and also go to show that you are an entrepreneur. I mean, unconsciously, maybe I'm not really sure what exactly do you do, you know, if you're if you're employed somewhere or not, but uh, indirectly you are an entrepreneur because you are having a long-term vision and it is so important because uh, to have this long-term vision and uh, you know the, the cryptocurrency has got a bad name uh, the reason it's got a bad name because a lot of people who got started into the space uh, they had never an entrepreneurial career they were never an investor so all of a sudden they got into this uh, with with having no knowledge uh, and, uh, and then they blame the whole space, you know. So I think uh, everyone, everyone, like literally everyone who is investing their time and efforts and money into cryptocurrency space, you are entrepreneur. And you have a long-term vision. And that is why you are here. Robert Riches, 100 rupees. Chat, super chat. Thank you so much. Recent interview with IVC was very good. Short and sweet interview, most knowledgeable interview. Thank you so much, Robert. Amazing. I'm glad you liked it. Uh, thank you so much. It really means a lot. And thank you so much for your donation. Uh, bhai, XBZ ka kya scene hai? Kuch batao ge aane wale wakt mein, bro. What about XBZ, your thoughts? XBZ ka kya ho ra hai? बिल्कुल आइडिया नहीं काफी टाइम से उसको कुछ भी प्राइस में ग्रोथ नहीं हुआ है इनफैक्ट सारे ऑल्ट कॉइन्स डाउन्स हैं तो सारे ऑल्ट कॉइन्स एक्सवीजी आरआईपी आर जस्ट टू प्रिंटिंग कमिंग क्रिप्टो विद लॉन्ग टर्म वन संजीत हाय डे टू डे ट्रांजैक्शन विल नॉर्मल बिक्रीज only RGTS, NEFT and clearing will get affected. What? But is RG, RTGS and NEFT working for these two days or no? Banks are not working. But are these services working? Man, this is why you need crypto, you know. This is why you need Bitcoin. Can you ever imagine a week off or Sunday or a Saturday for Bitcoin? I mean, just because banks decide not to work, why should you suffer? Because it's your money, you kept it with the bank and you, you deserve 24-7 services, right? And this is ridiculous that just because a few people are going on to a strike, now all of a sudden you don't have access to banking services. Uh, this is really bad. And this is one of the things that why you need cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin and blockchain. Because there it's a 24-7, 24-7. Nobody goes on strike. You can still use Bitcoin anytime you you want. Hi, Vurna Prasad. How are you? Uh, yes, me too. Like the last interview. Amazing. Great. Right. So I don't know. I mean, that's really. Uh, let me see if RBI going on a strike. Is this really true, guys? Oh, shit. 
oh my god rbi employees to go on two day strike neft may take a hit what seriously now millions of people are going to be suffering because of these rbi employees going to strike i mean this is exact reason why uh, you need an alternative financial system like bitcoin and cryptocurrency this is the same reason man this is ridiculous why in the world people should suffer why should the customers suffer because of this oh bad all right guys let me share this with you so it turns out all of you i'm sure uh, everyone of you would know about richard hart so as it turns out oh my god dinakar for your positive note and for our channel keep rocking shape thank you so much dinakar for this lovely super chat and donation you are amazing you are very supportive right from twitter youtube i i really appreciate that i need those kind of support in order to keep this channel going because otherwise it becomes too demotivating guys at times i'll be very honest and blunt with you on this uh so thank you so much dinakar for uh, for showing that support right so i was talking about uh richard hart right so richard hart it uh, seems that he's got a german half brother who claims that he has co-founded bitcoin can you imagine this uh so i think there are so many people who have been coming out and saying that they are the satoshi nakamoto uh you had what's the craig craig white or craig right and then you, here's another guy ridiculous i mean why in the world would you want to say that you know uh, unless and until you have really found it out so uh, i really don't know this is ridiculous uh, people think i make this stuff every day i'm confronted with more challenging absurdities we had an israeli satoshi too once he used to go around asking people to send over coins so that they can send 2x back <laughs> i see what you did there may god it's worse than i thought is he seriously hurts ha bro i don't think so uh, he just looks like he just happens to look like richard hart but i don't think he is richard hart uh uh brother so that's what i think thank you so much dinakar uh, by the way thank you so much it really means a lot to me thank you robert and thank you everyone else for joining today because without your support it wouldn't be possible for me to uh continue this is really motivating this is really inspiring <laughs> so many good comments so many lovely words well i love these all right guys so yeah i mean that's the news let's keep it very short uh, i think india is on the verge and i if you are a crypto enthusiast i definitely want you to go ahead and check this out this is basically a uh, the 10 songs are uh, written on uh, not really on bitcoin but these these uh, these uh, songs you know this crazy songs they topped it off through fans like a charges game right back to 30 i missed out i feel crudely assemble a rig these crazy songs about bitcoin uh, eminem of, co- of course he referred to bitcoin in one of his track which is on um, which is on spotify not alike so there have been many uh, artists who have uh, who have of course you had uh, what's the name kim kardashian and uh, you had coin coin daddy eric feed so yeah i put the link in the i think this is something that you're going to be enjoying the bitcoin dip the popular music video we have seen uh, the <laughs> bitcoin cash official video uh what is this let me let's check lol yeah cryptocurrency girls the moon and the cryptocurrency and me so this basically link has got 10 10 of the most popular uh songs on bitcoin 
I think we're teach me how to drift, I'd be so Guys, hit the like, please. There are only three likes I can see. I'm bombing the first car, I'm bombing the first car. So glad that you share my mind. Mount Gox tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I'm seeing this for the first time, by the way. If I had 10,000 Bitcoin, I would pay for you to fly so you could get your life. Mayday Moors Bitcoin Freezy. So, yeah, there are some so many crazy enthusiasts who are, who are creating these music videos on uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. But yes, this is the news, guys. We have Indian regulators going ahead visiting Japan visiting Switzerland, visiting UK, talking to them about how they have managed to regulate cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, blockchain, ICOs. And based on those, they want to draw some guidelines for India as well, which is to me very positive because India needs to be in the game in case if India wants to be the next super economy because most of the countries are doing it. Of course, most of the exchanges, the powerful people will leave India and settle down to other countries if India as a policy makers, they do not do anything about this technology. So I think for billions of people who live in India, for billions of people who, who are excited about this technology, it is the most important step that Indian regulators can take, a SEBI, RBI coming together uh, the most important that step that can take for these billions of people in India is to regulate this technology so that India can be in the map with all the rest of the countries just like US, UK, Japan, South Korea and all the other. By the way, uh, one of the interesting thing that you have to hear see here that Japan and South Korea account the biggest shares of the crypto assets markets in the world and if india and please make a note of it if india decides to regulate it japan and south korea might just be left behind because india is just huge in numbers that's what i think but leave, leave your opinion thank you so much for watching i'm just gonna be uh, uh it was amazing session having with you sharing this information thank you so much robert for the donation thank you so much dinaka for the donation really means a lot and uh, i'll see you guys tomorrow by copyright mute them oh is it a copyright oh i didn't know i didn't know maybe uh yeah man the copyright thing is very bad the adsense hardly pays you anything for these videos like one cents two cents three cents and uh and the copyright is bad all right guys thank you so much time to say good night take care enjoy i think we are heading at the right direction we are very close to regulations and uh stay cryptic guys good night take care Avenger for a